Hi everyone, welcome back to the Simple Car Guy channel. Today we have a Mercedes-Benz GLE 400, one of the most popular luxury SUVs on the market. This impressive vehicle has many cool features you'd expect from a Mercedes, like the bi-turbo V6 engine, 9-speed automatic transmission, cross-stitch leather dashboard and steering wheel, adjustable suspension and excellent steering and handling characteristics. But this video will be simpler. We won't even talk about the blind spot monitoring system, the heated steering wheel, keyless entry, power rear hatch, tons of storage, towing ability, or even a full spare tire in the back. What we will talk about is some hidden features, tips and tricks, and things you may not have known about the Mercedes-Benz GLE 400. This video should apply to both GLE 350 and GLE 400 from 2016 to 2019 model years, as the main difference there is mostly just the engine. You get a bi-turbo V6 engine producing 330 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque in this GLE 400. And before it was discontinued in 2018, you could have had a 300 horsepower V6 in the GLE 350. This Mercedes is considered one of the best highway cruisers, based on the great comfort, good handling, responsiveness, and many different driving modes. But there's one feature you probably haven't realized that this car has. Have you ever wondered why does the seatbelt tighten up a little when you get in and put it on? Do you see that right there? Well, this is a feature that's called a pre-safe and what it does is basically pretension the seatbelt, which allows it to figure out the weight, you know, in addition to the sensors in the seat. So it knows the weight of the occupant inside the car and in the event of an accident, the car knows how tight to pull the seat belt to keep you as safe as possible. This is some fancy racing car type of stuff. I love it. As you can see, this is not a small car. This is clearly a large SUV with big presence on the road and of course, big side profile, which isn't really an issue unless you're on a highway with strong winds. In this case, this Mercedes has another safety item that works in the background and it's called a crosswind assist. This hidden feature intervenes automatically if the direction and intensity of the crosswind affects your vehicle and stabilizes it by lightly breaking one side of the car, making sure you keep going straight ahead. This function turns on above 50 miles an hour only and can be activated by, I wouldn't recommend actually turning it off, but it can be turned off by turning off ESP. But that also disables your stability control and your traction control and uh, you also don't get your brake assist. So wouldn't recommend it, but it can be turned off. Just like the pre-safe and the crosswind assist is calculating all of this stuff in the background, this car also has a black box of sorts called the event data recorder or the EDR that records vehicle dynamics and safety systems in the event of a crash or crash-like situation. It will also record whether the seat belts have been fastened, how fast the vehicle was traveling, and what the driver inputs were prior to the event. All right, so enough of the safety stuff. Let's take a look at some fun ones. We use our key fobs less and less, especially with the comfort axis. But this key fob can do so much more than you think. For starters, you can unlock and roll down all of the windows and the sunroof by just holding the unlock button, right? All done, how cool is that? but you can also close everything as well. A lot of the cars have actually disabled this feature because it's not, it wasn't allowed in the US for some reason, but this one sure has it, works really, really well. What else? Well, you can check to see if the battery on the key fob is working properly, but what if you're not next to the car and you can't lock or unlock it to see if it's working? Well, you can simply hold lock or unlock button and the little LED here at the top will light up if it's working. If it does not work, you may need to replace the battery, which can be done by using the mechanical key and popping off the back cover. I'll show you that in a second. Speaking of the physical key, this is how you take it out. You just push this to the side and then the key comes out. And this guy, this little guy has many different functions. Not only can you pop off the back cover, there's a little slot in here where you put the key in. So you put that in and it comes off just like that. And you can replace your battery but it has many other functions on its own, the physical key. Not only can you unlock the front door, so you can unlock the door over there, right, using the key, you can also lock the glove box and cargo compartment when valeting your car, and even use it to release the tailgate in an emergency or if the battery is dead. 
So very useful little key. Do you park in a garage and always afraid that the tailgate will hit the garage door or something at the top? Well, on this car, you can actually limit the opening angle of the tailgate. See how far it opens right now? That's pretty, like, that's really, really tall. I can barely see if you can see it on camera, but it's tall, right? But what we can do is we can actually limit to where it stops. So what we can do is press stop, stop it again at the position that you want it to be at. So let's say it's gonna be this position, see, much slower. And then we're gonna press and hold the stop button until you hear the bong. Once you hear the bong, you can close it completely, just like that. And the next time you open it, it stops at that position. It no longer goes all the way to the top. How cool is that? While we're here at the back, let's check out a feature that I wish more people would use. I've seen way too many drivers let their fuel filler cap just hang there on the paintwork, and I hate that. On this car and many others, you have a little fuel filler cap holder just for this purpose. Nice piece of useful engineering. So you take it off and you just put it right in there, just like that, or just like that for you OCD people. It doesn't touch the paintwork, it doesn't scratch anything, nothing's leaking, love it. When you're done, just put it back in. What isn't a useful piece of engineering is fake exhaust tips. I just, I can't stand them, I don't know why. And I've seen it on many inexpensive cars, but I was hoping that Mercedes would do something better. But no, it's, it's the same thing. This is just a piece of plastic or maybe metal, but it's fake. It's not connected to an actual uh, exhaust pipe that's in the back there. Before we check out the items inside the car, you may be wondering why have you seen other Mercedes SUVs that look very similar, but sport a different badging? Well, this general body style has been in production between 2012 and 2019, but it only became a GLE from 2016 model year. Prior to this, the car was known as the M-Class, or in this case, an ML400. So now let's jump inside and see what kind of hidden features we can find in there. Another very interesting safety feature that's now becoming a lot more common is that it has auto reversing glass. So if your hand gets stuck in, as you can see in, in the glass, so if your kid puts a hand out, it will stop and reverse back. But not only that, you can do the same thing with the sunroof, which is actually kind of uncommon. Let me show you. Similarly here, if I put my hand in front, it will literally just stop and go back where it came from. Another feature that shows you how well thought out everything is in the Mercedes is the sun visor. So of course you can just open it. You can go to the side, standard stuff, but you have a second one. That's pretty cool, but that's not the hidden feature here. The hidden feature here is that you can actually extend this one to cover the top of the window completely. Pretty sweet. Another interesting item inside here is that you can actually remove the start stop button just by pulling it out just like that, and you can put your key in instead. And it just pops back on. As you can see, the seemingly standard SUV had many interesting facts, including some of the ones I've talked about today. If you'd like to see more videos on this car, leave a comment down below, as I haven't even started talking about the air suspension or the versatility that it gives you as far as the driving dynamics, or how you have many different ways of doing most of the functions without a touchscreen in sight. Anyway, I hope you learned something new or at least found the video interesting. Like the video for more car content and I'll see you in the next one.